All right, we have returned. Let's talk to Runa. Thank goodness you are safe. I have begun to fear the worst. A keepsake once belonging to Toddy of the Night's Blast. By all this dark, you found it. I can proceed with their service as planned. These blessed gems are to serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits unto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. I'm sure they are. A glup, some of that. Saying goodbye. Words filled to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist that you and your friends attend Tadia's service as honored guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go in and inform the others it will be held in the darker. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present, present to explain the proceedings. Why do I need to inform anyone of where it'll be held? Miro and I learned so much about the nice bletts when you were away, and we helped them recover their, a lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they needed our help. There were Sin Eaters, and as long as she accompanied you. But do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. H how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. And it's telling me now that Mero has business with us. Is something the matter? They've asked us to attend the service? Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? Well, we'll, we'll take care not to be late, I promise. Speak with the Placid Elder. Alright, we haven't actually been in this room yet, I don't think. This reminds me a lot of Chocobo's house, though. The elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over at a nearby corner where you might place it. Not a corner, but... A handmade candle of the Night's Blast. It burns an eerie blue when lit. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts.
that vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. call upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul unto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her unto paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. You know I don't deserve that much. So I deserve such reverence. I should have. I, I should like to have met her. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost, I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Orionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. All right. Let us reconvene in her chambers. We have much to discuss. Guys, don't choke him up for a boss fight. Good, you're here. Thanks to the XRX gift, our next course of action is now clear. That's right, we got new gloves. Well, apparently I got a headgear that I didn't use. Oops. Yeah, let's use that as well. So this headgear does the cardinal sin of removing my hair. That's not cool. I do like the gloves though. Gloves are kind of nice.
Right. Hopefully Estella has good news to share. Oops. A chance to reclaim the night has, has lit a fire in Minfilia that I would see kindled. What do you suppose she's gleaned from the tablet? I have no doubt thou wilt find the contents of the tablet most informative. Alright, stirring up trouble. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. You were not able to defeat PM at Chocobo. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light, what much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire, and was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. With each day, passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. Do you think this ancient petition will somehow get us into Ix Ixmaya? Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins' protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Ronkin texts and translations into a modern dialect which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I'm confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here, in Citia, quite close to Sugabo, in fact. The good news ends there, though, however, for it is in possession of a rather radical faction of Dark Worshippers, the Children of the Everlasting Dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough time, I'm afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. Assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we're to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. All right, I'll stay here until you return. Won't be long. If we anything should happen, keep her safe. Let us convene outside. To the west of Slitherbow, there's a path that diverges. Hey, look at that. Oh yeah, I'm literally being carried out of there. Excellent. Alright. So, mirror in hand, we head out. Thank you, what do you got for us? All set. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he is ought to share of their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so, they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them into the sunless sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Oh, who would have had to have gone up here anyway? Oops! Forty-two yelms to the east. All right. The shin will probably aggro me again. Nope. Surprise. I need to trust that the game's just gonna bring me close to the, uh, the exploratory ones and just not rush over and get it.
Got him. These people just straight up murder anyone they see? They're rude. By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you're unharmed. We would have arrived sooner, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You're an acquaintance of Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was clear and careless. Strange? What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took a notice of their, venom of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant for the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their pre uh, present preoccupa preoccupation with the spiders to our advantage. If we could introduce a threat to the nests where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan! I like it! With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything that we might be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for the beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them here. Two will suffice, I should think. Great. We get to pick on bees now. Okay. We'll get some smokes. Some smoke bombs. And then they gotta go up there. Cool. Look at that, please, yes, sorry. And the wild swine. So these bees are going to be pretty pissed off, apparently, so... A handmade device crafted of the night by the next bus to produce copious amounts of smoke. Wild wow, Hoot Hoot appears. Respect its favorite Pokemon, guys. One beehive. Let's catch the next. In our giant space whale. What are you guys' thoughts on giant space whales? I'm absolutely surprised that that didn't aggro me. Is this being a thing? Oh, we got two bees this time. Time to get some stunning in. Victory to me. And burlap set. We got it. Good 
where the flamingos, the not flamingos. Were you able to find any? The guard returned to Slither Ball, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Sanker and I were successful in finding what we need. How did you fare? For God's sake, don't let them out. This is more than enough. The children are certainly to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. The bag is sealed tight, but I'd rather not keep the buzzing bee, bee, bees buzzing about in there longer than we need to. A beautiful plan. The children's settlement is not uh, is to the west, a place they call Woven Oath. According to the guards, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spiders' nests. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. All right, time to go murder a couple spiders to uh, to see our quest done. We gotta dodge around these swine. Pass these diamite or hormites, apparently. Pass this to metal. Quickly, before any of the children arrive. Up there is the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. Enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! It sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their post. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it any signs of the struggle are concealed. Feeling that, I'll create a distraction to buy a stolen more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready. Where am I going now? Oh, that's quite a ways up there, actually. I'm heading up here to an area called The Womb. Which I don't think I'm getting into without aggroing something. Okay, well. Apparently I'm aggroing everything. Yeah. Yeah, love the cat.
I was able to cast in uh, a Flatus Misery. <laughs> I hardly think it'll come to blow. Can't even enter without aggroing all three of them. Why is this one so much stronger than the others? Even though there's still two more. Wait, what? How the fuck are they supposed to get in here without aggroing anything? I don't think you're supposed to. Here's a casting Lonk and Freeze. Lonk and Scathe. I can't use, uh... I was able to get in there. At least we don't have to be worried about the wood bats. Barrage him with light, spell element glare. Fanatic bloodletting. I thought that was like pathetic bloodletting, and I was like, what? That's, that's quite the name. Now I have the blood lily. Hey there, Stoma. The font of seeing suggests that this chamber is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not place this near potential distractions from the worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Oh, well, this is interesting. Look at this, we got some hieroglyphs here. That looks ominous. This has got to be the warrior, uh, Warriors of Light. With the uh, Lamit here on the side, uh, the Rogadin Paladin, Ardbert here in the middle, um, Neil Neildar. Uh, I forget his name. The Black Mage, though. Right there, and then uh, the bard on the right. Yes, this is it. I will be but a moment. Keep watch out at the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they're old, predating the founding of the Blessed and the Children, in fact. We're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all we can. All right, let's take a look at these murals. They're pretty cool. All right, we have to do this again. The mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior, rejoicing in their victory. Hey guys, don't choke before boss fight. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by their subjects. The mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. 
Screw Chocobo. I don't know if Chocobo will be down for that. Chocobo, how do you feel? These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Oh, rather faded, isn't it, compared to the others? Or did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? or some other kind of monument. There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. They teleported me out of there. Okay. Good to see my distraction proof successful. Did it? Because I had to fight like 80 dudes to get in there. I believe I now have everything I needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Miro, did the murals appear to be of any significance? The depiction of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though there's no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps the knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. An unwanted proposal. Let us hurry to Slitherbo. The others are waiting. After we've returned, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything of import, you'll be the first to know. Alright, we're gonna take a break, guys, but we got an hour left to stream, so... Let's get our new boots on first. Now we just need a new chess piece, and then we'll, we'll fully caught up on that. Alright. So. Give us a quick moment, and we'll be right back. 